Hello everybody, this is Dragon Gamer back for two more last 32 clashes. And in these matches we will see Chomstan taking on the poke and then Ibuki going up against the champions team. And without further ado, let's get on with it. Alrighty then, up first for Chomstan in the red corner we have a Uteraptor. Chomstan finishing first in group F. Or was it group G? No, it wasn't group G, no. Yeah, it was group F. Or it might have been group D. I can't really remember. <laughs> Been a while since I looked at the bloody tables. Anyway, in the blue corner for Lepoke, we have an Albertosaurus. Lepoke, I would consider quite the favourite in this matchup because they will have two type advantages. This Albertosaurus, the type advantage over the Uteraptor, and Euoprocephalus, which will come in third, has the type advantage over the Triceratops, which also comes in third. So two important clashes here that could definitely swing the match the Poke's way. Oh, that's a good start from the Albertosaurus. But it's no, but it wasn't burning. Oh, oh, hit my microphone then. <laughs> wasn't burning dash, so not too much damage was dealt. Oh, that's a tie. And that's exactly what, what the Poke wants because that burning dash will get triggered. While well, taking away a chunk of the Uteraptor's HP with burning, with a tire attack. And speaking of burning dash, the poke racing into a 1 0 lead. Chomstan is going to have to bet it all on the Kakirodontosaurus that's about to come in if they want any chance of winning this match. Speaking of the devil, there's the Kakirodontosaurus. And as I said, it's definitely going to have to pull its weight here if Chomstan wants any chance of getting past this matchup. Oh, that's a tie, but again, that's exactly what the Pope wants, because once again, that burning dash will be triggered. But... Albertosaurus doesn't need it because it's still getting off hits, and I sense that the poke's gonna go into a 2 0 lead. Well, especially if the Carcharodontosaurus doesn't get any hits off. Oh, come on, the chumps don't have a bloody hit. Please be scissors. Are you serious? Are you, what, what is wrong with you, random number generator? What is wrong with you? Do you not want a close match? Well, um... We've seen other people been in this situation before, so I wouldn't say it's over yet for Chomstan, but based on the way this match has gone, I'd probably say that Chomstan's not going to get a hit. Huzzah! Chompstan got a hit. Now, if the RNG wants to be fair, Chompstan should get like 10 hits in a row. Oh, that's a tie. Can the Triceratops... Oh, Chompstan's third dino. Gold rear Stone Cold Triceratops. And the Stone Cold Triceratops has taken down the Albertosaurus. But it's still got a lot of work to do, because up next for the poke, we have an Alberta Ceratops. And I sense this will be the beast that will win the poke the match. Do -do -do -do. But we, we can't. Can Chompstan. If Chompstan can quickly defeat this Alberta Ceratops, though, I think they still have a chance. But at the minute, I can't see any other winner than the poke. Ooh, could have done with that attack burst there. Could have done with it. Ooh, a hit from the Alberta Ceratops though. Not much damage dealt. There's the counter blitz to stop the poke getting hits next round. And here comes our counter blitz. No hit for the poke this time. As Chompstan gets off the hit instead. Ooh, good counter blitz there. Good counter blitz. 
The Triceratops definitely putting up a fight, putting up a fight. The Gold Ray Triceratops looking pretty good. But again, it will have, if the, if the Albertoceratops falls, which it will, the Wapocephalus coming in next will still have the type advantage, so I'd still say Lepoke is well on top. Speaking of you, Wapocephalus, here it is. The resilient tank itself, it's going to be tough for Chompstown to take down, but at least they they pulled themselves back into the match. Okay, that was six. Ooh, a crit though. I forgot what this is. Fun yeah, Thunder Bazooka. This could do some damage. That's respectable, and this even the score, but as I said, the poke still has that type advantage, so. And well, here comes the light recovery. And if Earth Barrier activates here, then the poke will be back into a strong position to win this match. And there's the Earth Barrier, and I think that might just do it for Lepoke. Because all they'll need now is one hit, where Chompstan is going to need at least, I'd probably say one, three hits, at least three hits. One to get rid of the Earth Barrier, and then another two to kill it. Okay, there's, there's the Earth Barrier, and an attack burst, what could, could swing the match Le Chompstan's way. Especially if Chompsang gets off that Thunder Bazooka, could do some damage. Oh, but I think he's not going to get it. I think that is game over for Chompsang. A valiant effort, a valiant fight back, but in the end left themselves with too much to do. And Lepoke, probably breathing a slight sigh of relief, pulls through and will advance to the last 16. That was an exciting match, wasn't it? You know, it can't always be a comeback on the cards, can it? But, commiserations to Chompsan. They definitely did well in the group stage. But, you know, you, you slip up in the, in the knockout round and it costs you. Right, on to our other match of this video now. Alrighty then, in this matchup, as I said before, we see Ibuki taking on the Champions team. At first for Ibuki, we have a Zuni Zuni Ceratops. The purple sheep of the Ceratopsids. And we definitely saw what it did to Tor in the first matchup, so it's not to be underestimated. Ibuki was off to a strong start in the tournament, but kind of stuttered as of late, but still managed to book their place in the last 32. But can they get any further? It'll be tough because in the blue corner for the champions team, we have the winner of the fire tournament, the Mapusaurus. The champions team, the only bot team to survive the past the group stage, which is not really surprising because, as I said, it's the champions team. And <coughs> Unlike the other bot teams I picked, this team is actually like legit in the sense that I picked good move sets for these guys. Whereas for the other bot teams, I well, I didn't really go. I didn't go all out because you know I don't. I don't want a bot team to win this tournament, do I? And it gives like other combatants combatants a chance chance to see their team win. So yeah, think of think of them as like whipping boys. Now, now, now the people that lost to the bot teams are gonna feel embarrassed now because they lost to the whipping boys. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, no, it is good because it's why that's why I do a group stage format because I want to see every team win. I want to see everyone get a win in a tournament. And, well, sadly, this time that hasn't happened because, well, MEGP10, I think the only human to not win a match. <coughs> anyway, back to this match. The champions team dominating so far. And the Zuni Ceratops lasts in no more than two seconds. But they're not going to attack because he's going to die. Ibuki not looking in good shape so far. Okay, as for the second dino though, we have a Pentaceratops. Again, Ibuki's one of those other combatants that has a team of all dinosaurs of the same element, which which I've said before that you should really avoid, but I mean, it's, you, you, if you want to, then do it. But if you want to win, then you should avoid doing it. <laughs> of course, luckily for Ibuki's sake, there isn't an Earth dinosaur in this matchup. But there is a water dinosaur. However, 
none of that matters at this point because I boot you can't seem to get a hit off on this Megalus. On this Macrosaurus, and look at that heat eruption there. That's exactly why I use Technique Boost. Because it boosts the chances of heat eruption being activated. And on a dinosaur like Macrosaurus, you need Technique Boost. And actually, yeah, I actually use Technique Boost on my Mega Raptor. Like the, the one, not this one, but the, the one that won the tournament. So I can get more Jet Shurikens off. Oh, finally, I boogie guess a hit. The Pentaceratops finally getting the hit off on Mapusaurus. Ooh, another hit. Come on, Ibuki, get back in this match. Show this Mapusaurus who's boss. Ooh, Ibuki could have done with that crit there. Oh, and another tie. But that's exactly what the Mapusaurus wants, because it will keep getting off heat eruptions. Oh, there's the extra damage there. Can the Champions Team race get that 2-0 lead? Oh, oh. The answer is yes, but the Mapusaurus is on very low health. So I think we can easily finish it off. And I'm going to cough again. <coughs> As for Ibuki's third dino, we have a Super Triceratops. Awaken mode on three. And I think Ibuki's going to need that awaken mode if they want to get back in the match. The winner of this match will face off against Lapoke in the last 16. And maybe they could have a quarterfinal match with me. If I get that far. <laughs> oh, well, the Macrosaurus finally died, but it definitely did damage to Ibuki's team, taking out two of their dinos. Now, here's where I think Ibuki could get back in this match. As up next for the Champions team, we have the winner of the Water Washout Tournament, the Spinosaurus. Again, back to the bot teams. I, I could have picked, I could have picked better move sets for the bot teams, but I deliberately don't because I don't want them to be too powerful. Well, the Saltosaurus probably the kind of the exception because that's a move set I would probably go with the Saltosaurus using the Hydro Color, and I wanted to see it in action, but sadly we didn't get to see it. What we are seeing though is Ibuki possibly getting back in the match. Okay, once. Oh, look at this! Ibuki storming back! Twice. A crit here could kill the Spino and leave a wake mode for the champion team's third dino. Oh, but the Spinosaurus strikes back with a net crusher, which will not be affected by the type disadvantage, so normal damage will be dealt. Crowlophosaurus coming in here for light recovery, but it is awakened time. Or oh, it's a tie, but I think he won't mind that because of the damage that gets dealt. Oh, the Spino! The Water Sword! How costly could that be? Oh, how costly could that be? I think that might do it for the Champions team. And I think Ibuki is going to be going home. Ibuki's hanging on by a thread. And that thread has just been severed. And the Triceratops bites the dust and the Champions team take the win. Well, let's be honest, Mapusaurus did all the work. Loads of damage done. But as for Ibuki, commiserations to Ibuki. I thought they did well in the tournament. You know, for a newcomer, I thought they did pretty well. And they definitely did well in Group A, con considering that that's the group of death. <laughs> so yeah, commiserations to Ibuki, but it is elimination, and the champions team will go through to the last 16 to face off against Lepoke. Right, that's the end of this session. Stay tuned for next time, where we will conclude the last 32 round.
with Maximum Pyrus going up against DBW's original gangsters. And then the big one, the one I'm quite nervous for, Dinosaur Queen 777 taking on the champs, the hosts, Stranger. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.